Did you know that quizzes can increase your lead generation by three times more than a traditional form? That's right. An interactive quiz can dramatically increase the amount of leads that you convert through your marketing efforts. If you're interested in learning more about this, I'm going to be breaking down for you step by step how to build an interactive quiz using Fillout. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting. It's our mission to help you get the full potential out of no code software. And one of our favorite no code tools and pretty much favorite form software out there is Fillout. If you're not already using Fillout, you are going to love the advanced form features that it makes available. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on one particular feature, the interactive quiz option. This is more than just a standard form. We're going to be creating an interactive quiz that scores the user's inputs and essentially generates a specific output for them based on their answers. As I mentioned, this can dramatically increase your conversion rates, and we are going to be breaking it down step by step. But before we get into this, I first want to invite you to join me for some automation training. If you're new to no code tools, you are going to love the amount of heavy lifting that automation can do for you in the background. Grab my free training, gapconsulting.io slash webinar dash registration. You'll get immediate access there and learn the basics of putting together some no code automations yourself. But without further ado, let's hop on into my screen. Here I am inside of Fillout. I encourage you to follow along with me if you already have a Fillout account. And if you don't, consider signing up for one using our affiliate link. It's a great way for you to show some love back to the channel here. So here I am, I'm inside of Fillout and it's time to make a new one. I need to create or make a Fillout. And from here, I'm asked if I want to automatically sync up or connect with a third party app like Airtable or Notion, or if I want to start with a template, or in this case, what we're going to do is start with a blank form. Now I can choose a theme pretty quickly, nice little themes. We can always update this later if we want to make changes, and then we can create the form. So what are we going to call this form? Well, let's imagine that we are working with Emma. If you're not familiar, this is a mattress company. And we can imagine a lead generation quiz that identifies what kind of sleeper you are. Maybe we've identified, I don't know, four different types of sleepers. And based on the type of sleeper you are, we might recommend one mattress over another. So let's go into fill out and call this Emma lead gen quiz. And we'll continue. Easy enough to start. Now we're going to head over to settings and come on down on the left hand side here, we're going to activate quiz mode. So you see that this will make the form a scorable quiz useful for educational tests, lead quizzes, sharing content and more. By the way, if you need to see this in writing, you can just access help here. This is going to take you directly to fill out support article on this very topic. But we're going to go ahead and enable quiz mode here. And we opt to either yes or no, show correct answers after each page. So if you're using this for educational purposes, or maybe you have some sort of uh, accreditation process that people are going through, you can keep this toggled on, which means that after someone submits an answer, you will then highlight the correct answer and say, this is the correct answer. You either got it right or wrong. Now, alternatively, we can toggle this off because in our example, there is no right or wrong type of sleeper. So we're going to imagine that we have a couple different questions that are going to rank somebody in terms of whether they prefer soft or uh, harder mattress. So we'll keep that setting all good from there. And we're going to head back into the form itself. Now, when we're building our form on the left hand side of the screen, we have all the different field types. So we can have a bunch of different options in terms of the types of questions that we're asking. Let's imagine that we want a drop down question. We're going to say, uh, which sounds better, feathers or bowling balls? And somehow we're going to relate this to if they say feathers, then we think they might want a softer mattress. And if they want bowling balls, then we're going to go with a heavier mattress or a, a harder mattress. So we can make a drop down question here and we can come into the header and rename this and we'll say, uh, what appeals more? And then on the right hand side, we have all of our options for this field. So I can say feather. I can add bowling ball. I can add additional options as well. Uh, we can include an other option. We can make this required. You get the idea. 
fill out is a very robust form building tool. And so we have a lot of different options when putting this together. Now we can add additional pages as well to this, or we can keep it short and have multiple questions on the same page. If we want to add more pages, we just come to the bottom here to click add page, or we can add in our case, another drop down. So let's bring in another question and say, uh, do you prefer clouds or rocks? And again, just very simply, I mean, this is a silly example, but I'm going to put in some options here and uh, we're trying to decide if somebody is a better fit for a softer mattress or a firmer mattress. So I'll go clouds and rocks here. You get the idea. We can make both of these required. So let's discuss how we can actually generate a score, or in this case, we're gonna wait. So if you were to be on the softer side, we're going to assign smaller values for these answers and larger values for the heavier or the firmer side. Similarly on clouds or rocks, same thing. So in order to access this, we're gonna go back to our settings here and go back to quiz mode. Now you can see the questions that we've put into the form and we can come in and set answer keys for this. So we'll toggle both of these on and we'll say, if they say feather, they'll get a score of one. If they say bowling ball, it'll be a score of 10. And we will say done. Now down here for clouds or rocks, we'll do the same thing, but let's suppose that we wanna add more weight to this particular question. So we might say, hey, if they say rocks here, uh, we're going 15 and clouds will stay at, I don't know, uh, two, for example. So now that we've established this, our maximum score again here is 15 and over here for this first question is 10. So a total possible of 25. So let's say for us, we wanted to make the cutoff 16. That way, if they said that they prefer a feather here, but over here for the second question, they prefer rocks, they'll have 16. So in that case, we would say, we're gonna send you in the direction of a firmer mattress and anything that is 15 and below will go to a softer mattress. So how do we do this? We can go back into our form now and set up pages. We can have different ending pages depending on the value. So we can add another page here and we will set up another ending page. And let's name this one firm mattress and continue here. And over here, we'll go into our other ending page and we can update this, uh, rename it actually, and we'll say soft mattress. Now it's time to set up a little bit of logic. So we can go into the logic on the bottom right here and we'll set up, just click and drag our second option. And we're going to drag this page down here, but we need to set up these conditions. So this particular one here, this is the default condition. So if none of the below conditions, everything below it, if nothing is met, no condition is met, then this will default to go into the soft mattress. But in our case, we want to set up a condition that says, hey, if that score is 16 or more, well, this variable for score is automatically created for us down here in the quiz section. So all we need to do is select here and you can see score slash max score. We can also access the max score, which in our case is 25, or we can access the score, the current score of the user. This can also be displayed at any point throughout the form so that you can show people how they are doing as they go through the quiz. So here we go. I'm going to say if the quiz is greater than or equal to 16, that's going to be our cutoff. Say done. That will get you to the firm mattress output. And if you're below that 15 or below, you're going to go to the soft mattress. Now we can X out of here and drill into these and say, uh, maybe we want to remove this quiz score, but instead we want to say, we recommend a soft mattress for you. You get the idea. We're going to just copy this, bring it into firm mattress here. Again, here, we're going to get rid of the show quiz score, but we're going to update this and we will say firm mattress. So let's go ahead and publish this, take it out for a quick spin. Now, of course, if you're doing this for lead generation, you definitely also want to include a page that's going to take the username and email so that you can add this to your lead generation efforts. But for our example, we just want to see that score get properly loaded up and uh, make sure that we're directed to the right place in the form. So let's answer for soft. We like a feather. We prefer clouds. When we are ready, we're going to go to the soft mattress final page. Alternatively, we can take the quiz from the other side. Let's say we prefer the bowling ball. 
and rocks. Well, in this case, we're going to go towards the firm mattress. So you see how we can generate these answers. But if we're collecting emails as well, we can always then also send automated outputs to these emails. We can say, hey, you know, you scored for a firm mattress. Here are some resources that we would recommend you check out next. So we can really customize the user experience based on the answers we got from them in our lead generation efforts. Of course, as one final closing thought, we could also include these links on the ending pages themselves. So we can come in quite easily and add additional links or redirects and say, hey, if you'd like to find more information for firm mattresses, we could add a redirect here to a particular part of our website or another website to get them set up with the proper resources given the answer they put together. So lots of options available to us here at Fillout. I know we went pretty quickly in this video, but I hope you got a ton of value from it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you do have questions we did not cover, swing by our website because we have a ton of additional resources available there for you. But most importantly, keep on building.